On board an aircraft, cabin air quality plays an important role in the comfort and well-being of passengers and crews. But what do we really mean by cabin air quality? If you've ever wondered about this, um, perhaps uh, even the sort of filtration systems modern commercial airliners employ, then stay tuned because that's what we'll be exploring in this video. Welcome back. In this video, we will be talking about a subject of some importance and pertinence in the current time, and that is the quality of cabin air on a modern commercial airliner. Cabin air quality plays a vital role in the comfort and well-being of passengers and crews. But before we take a close look at what modern airliners do to preserve the quality of cabin air, let's take a step back and understand briefly where the air inside the cabin uh, actually comes from, so the different sources of it. The air design in the cabin is somewhat of a complex matter because aircraft fly in quite a hostile environment at high altitudes that involve very cold air and lower density and hence it is low in oxygen. Aircraft manufacturers therefore factor these points in to ensure that the right level of air temperature, pressure, humidity and cleanliness is maintained in the cabin. In flight, air is derived usually from the engines through something called a bleed system. If you watched the video that explains how jet aircraft work, or jet engines work rather, you might recall that aircraft incorporate something called a pneumatic system where the engines supply high pressure air that's used extensively by several systems on board, one of which is the air conditioning system. Now there are alternative bleed air supply sources such as the APU or the auxiliary power unit. It's a small gas turbine uh, that's in the back of the aircraft that can also provide bleed air. Now how air conditioning and pressurization systems work is a subject for another day. But in flight, air for the air conditioning um, is typically extracted from the compressor of the engines. On a side note, um, not all aircraft use bleed systems for air conditioning. Uh, for example, the Boeing 787 Dreamliner employs a bleedless architecture and uses electrically powered uh, cabin air compressors to provide air for air conditioning. Now, the high pressure air that's usually supplied by the engines goes through several components such as pre-coolers and something called packs uh, to make it suitable for use by passengers and crew and for pressurization. Again, these components that are inherent in the air conditioning and the pressurization system uh, will be covered in some detail in a future video. When we talk about the quality of the cabin air, it is not only limited to properties such as temperature and humidity, but even the content of particulate contaminants would also define it. Now let's explore how the cabin air um, actually flows through the cabin and the sort of filtration mechanisms that are used. High pressure air is inducted from the engines and cooled and conditioned. It then goes into something called the mixer unit that's installed below the cabin floor in front of the wing box. The role of the mixer unit is to mix the outside air with the cabin air. The cabin air is taken from the underfloor area and drawn through filters by recirculation fans. The quantity of the recirculation cabin air mixed with the outside air varies from 40 to 60 percent. This mixing maintains a moderate temperature gradient in addition to increasing the humidity by making use of the cabin air. The outside air being very cold with temperatures around let's say minus 50 degrees Celsius is almost completely dry and so the mixing of the cabin air with the outside air helps increase the humidity to a certain extent. The humidity in this instance is being contributed by the passengers. The air is then distributed to various cabin zones. Um, some of this air returns to the mixer unit via the filters, while the rest is dumped overboard. In other words, expelled from the aircraft cabin. The filters that we alluded to are called HEPA filters. HEPA stands for High Efficiency 
particulate air. And these filters provide the best level of filtration currently available for recirculated cabin air. These filters um, have a similar performance to those used in hospitals. HEPA filters are standard on modern commercial airliners and they remove more than 99.9% .9 of micro or nanoparticulates, bacteria and viruses. Now let's understand how the mixture of air that's supplied to the cabin occurs. Air from the mixer unit enters the cabin via numerous air outlets at the top of the cabin and leaves at the floor level. The flow of this air is continuously from top to bottom at about one meter per second. If you have ever boarded or disembarked a jet aircraft on a humid day, you may have noticed condensation occurring around the top of the cabin, just above the overhead compartments. That's where the air conditioning outlets are. It is worth noting that the air does not flow from front to back, but from top to bottom, which is an important point when we talk about the effectiveness of ventilation and keeping the spread of contaminants to a minimum. The cabin air is renewed every two to three minutes as fresh air enters the cabin from the outside and the same quantity of used air in the cabin is discharged overboard. Under the floor, HEPA filters clean the recirculated air before it is mixed with fresh air from outside in the mixer unit. The mixture of fresh air from the outside and filtered recirculated air ensures the delivery of very clean and fresh air to passengers and crews. To recap how the cabin air is kept clean and fresh, fresh air from outside is mixed with recirculated cabin air in the mixer unit. Uh, again, remember the recirculated cabin air goes through HEPA filters to rid it of contaminants, uh, including viruses and bacteria, before it is mixed with the fresh air from outside. The air from the mixer unit is then discharged through air vents at the top of the cabin and the flow of the air is from top to bottom where it escapes through vents at floor level. It is worth remembering that air does not flow along the length of the aircraft but from top to bottom that helps curb the spread of contaminants. Finally, the cabin air is renewed every two to three minutes. In other words, every two to three minutes or 20 to 30 times an hour the air inside the cabin is completely fresh. In case you're wondering if uh, the HEPA filters that we talked about are subject to maintenance, the filters are changed as stipulated by the aircraft maintenance program. All right, so there we have it, a high level overview of how the quality of air in an aircraft cabin is maintained and the sort of design aspects that are in place to make sure that it remains clean and fresh. You see the technology, so you know the sort of filtration systems that we talked about, has been in use for decades and isn't something that was just introduced um, because of the pandemic. As we can deduce, the air in the cabin of a modern commercial airliner is very clean. I hope you found that of some value and it wasn't too hard to follow. As always, if you have any questions or comments or you would like a certain topic related to aviation or flying covered, Please put that in the comments below and I shall do my best to cover that in a future video. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up and share it along. Well, thanks very much for your time and support and I look forward to seeing you in the next one again very soon. Thanks very much again and I wish you a great day.